Always know that. Hey. You got it roll. Here we go. You ain't gotta make a fuss Ay. When I was down, out of luck, then you stuck It was us in a rut Woke up, I hit a chick for you Baby, give me life, you know I live for you Girl, you know I live for you Ride or die, kill for you Let them talk slick, I'ma have to split a wig for you Hi guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic before we get started, if you could just go hit that like button for me and also subscribe to my page, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I'd just like to say that everything that we say on this channel is alleged and it's in my opinion. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you an update on the beautiful Miss Shanquilla Robinson. So it looks like, again, this story is unfolding every day. There's more and more information that comes out. Um, the six friends that was with her on the Cabo vacation in Mexico, they're now naming them. They're calling them the Cabo Six. Okay. And, you know, it's more information that's coming out in regards to the circumstances that surrounded them unaliving her. Uh, the first thing I'd like to say is that you, this beautiful young lady was laid to rest on Saturday, November the 20th. Um, it was a beautiful service, beautiful casket, horse drawn. It was a white horse. Um, it looks like the whole city of Charlotte came out to support this young lady. So I'm really glad that, you know, her parents were able to put her away and put her away in such a beautiful fashion. Um, of course, it's definitely sad to see a young person uh, be, you know, uh, put put away like that but at the same time I, I love to see when it's done in a beautiful fashion That child was amongst friends and she should have been able to feel comfortable and feel safe. This shouldn't have happened. Losing a loved one in the heinous way in which has happened to Shanquella, there probably will never be peace for them. But there cannot just be an unopened situation. It has to be closed with truth um, and it has to be that there is accountability for those who are responsible for her death. Um, so that part is out the way and the investigation is still underway. Um, as I stated in my previous videos, the FBI here in the United States is now involved with the Mex Mexican authorities. So the hope is, is that, uh, there is enough evidence found and with that evidence, they are able to bring you know, if not all six of them, at least whoever was mostly responsible for this young lady's untimely demise. So I was uh, doing a little bit of investigating and I found a video from uh, Shanquilla's cousin. Um, Shanquilla's cousin um, was on a platform called Bego. And uh, she was dropping some tea, um, you know, in regards to the information uh, that the parents have, um, the mom and the dad, in regards to circumstances uh, surrounding uh, Shanquilla's death. Um, again, this is all alleged. Um, none of this stuff has been proven to be factual. However, um, this is just one more piece of the puzzle that hopefully will lead us to getting this young lady some justice. Take a look at the video.
telling her to fight back. That was her best friend. Supposed to have been her best friend. So who is so you thinking times, that? I'm... So listen, Champagne, you think that's Khalil's voice? You think that's Khalil's voice telling her that to fight Khalil. back? That is Khalil. That's definitely fucking Khalil. Yes, yes, ma'am. That mm -hmm. was Khalil. And Malik, and Malik is recording. Yep, and Malik is recording. And so, and so did y'all see the little short Puerto Rican girl to the right? Yeah, that's was that um Alyssa. Or, she is the one. She is the one. Researching and watching people talk about the circumstances surrounding her cousin's, you know, demise. And she came across another, it appears that it's a family member named Cam. I wasn't sure if this was a lady or um, a female or a male, but it appears that this person is exploiting um Shaquilla's untimely de demise with get taking donations and what have you and she was very unhappy about that and she brought some attention to it um it looks like she was stating don't give anybody any money and you know that's just a good word to the wise guys like don't donate to anything that you are not familiar with or that hasn't been proven to be an actual fund or foundation for Shaquilla Robinson you know a lot of crooks come out when it's when something tragic happens you have a lot of people it's a lot of weird people out here in this world and a lot of people come out and they try to capitalize off of somebody else's grief and you know you think you're doing something good and you donate to something that has nothing to do with the family nothing to do with Shanquilla or nothing to do with the investigation just be really cautious as far as you know where you're donating who you're donating to and check and double check and triple check um you know your sources and and making sure that you're donating to an actual fund something that's been set up by the real family or someone that is a subsidiary of the family i do know that there was a gofundme but i also know there were a couple of fake gofundme so you guys just really be careful you know out here because people are just really on one it also looks like that there was a little bit of information um, that had came out that the North Carolina beat was a little bit upset with Miss Claudia Jordan. Um, it looks like um, there's some cockamamie story that's going around in regards to the reason that the six of them may have or you know a few of the six may have jumped on Shaquilla um, and that they were justified it I'm not going to even repeat the story here I'm just going to say that it sounds like it's some kind of plant that a planted story that somebody from the Cabo six met or someone that's adjacent to them may have put out to try to justify their reasonings for and i'm not going to even call it a fight brutally assault her because that's all it was was an assault because she didn't even fight back so with that being said north carolina beat had a lot to say they really ripped miss claudia jordan a new one um and if you're not familiar with who she is um she is a former real housewife of atlanta i think she was on there for like one season and she has a show on youtube called fox soul that she does with uh funky dineva and i think the other guy's name is al reynolds so you know she put this story out and they were not happy about that they feel that it was irresponsible for her to put that story out and they're publicly asking her to please retract it and take it back because there's no factual information uh regarding um the story that she put out and that they think it was irresponsible with such a huge platform so you know it's it's just a lot happening surrounding this case i really just 
hope that you know we have some sort of conclusion you know sometime soon when it comes to you know the investigation and them getting closer to arresting these six people um i'm pretty sure that they're not living a normal life because it looks like they continue to remain in hiding um you know people out here are not having it these people can't walk the streets without someone recognizing them because this story is huge um one of the other things that I was finding in my research is that one or two of them may still be working um, I hope not because I know it's a lot of internet investigators out here and they want justice and so if they are working they won't be for long because they will be contacting those jobs sending those uh, recordings and letting them know that these are not people that you want to continue to work for your organization you know so it's, it's just a lot and it sounds like the cousin has confirmed that the mom does have the second tape and that implicates winter so you know i really like to see how that's going to play out and if there is indeed a second tape and um if it shows you know what they say it's going to show which is that she is the one that delivered the you know the fatal blow so that's all I have you guys for my update with in the Shaquilla Robinson case again I'll keep you guys updated is when I find out information I'll bring it to you guys um, with that being said if you have any um, comments or any questions or actually any information regarding this case please feel free to leave it in my comment section and as always guys please hit that like button also subscribe to my channel it helps me in the algorithm and I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. What's up with you?